Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do what will be your weekend um, mini tarot messages. I thought I'd do them for this weekend for the 15th to the 16th of May 2021 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Remember it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you. Can be messages, can include some predictions here Virgo. Remember the readings, dailies, weekend messages will resonate a few days after they're released. So, uh, or can resonate a few days after. So I'm going to pull three cards, completely unstructured. We'll see what we get for you. Message for Virgo, please. Angel Spirits Guides for the weekend, 15th to the 16th of May, 2021. Okay, what do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo, please? Okay. So first card, Virgo, we have uh, Temperance. The Tower. Oh my goodness, three major arcana. <laughs> My goodness, Virgo, we have Rebirth. Wow. Okay, Virgo, the cards are what they are. Like I said, it won't resonate with everybody, but you've got some major arcana here, three major arcana energies. The major arcana are the big influences on our lives, supported by the minor, arc minor arcana, which are more tactical day-to-day -day influences. Um, so this is big energy, very big energy. Feel something of significance is happening in your life here. The tower can represent a life-changing event, something that destroys the old and, you know, aligns you to where you need to be. It's an act of love from the universe, the tower. We look back on tower moments in months, years to come and realize why things have to happen for a reason. You know, um, we don't always understand it at the time. It's not always easy, but it is something, it's a life-changing event in whatever shape or form. It's a neutral energy. You know, the tower can be, you know, things like uh, proposals. It can be anything in terms of changes in your career. You know, it can be that kind of energy of something that fundamentally changes, you know, the pillars of your life. It brings deep change. Um, but generally, like I said, the tower is a big jolt, a big act of alignment from the universe where the universe intervenes to align you to the path that you need to be on. Now we have what rebirth energy, which is the energy here is generally judgment, but it's called rebirth here. And it's interesting that it's in this deck because it's almost kind of like this tower is aligning you to a new path to your rebirth. And that's definitely what I'm feeling here. You will be awakening from whatever this tower was and stepping into your light. And that's what the universe is wanting you to know here, Virgo. Um, it, it just feels that this will be you know, the rebirth of you, the new path. Um, where you will be able to release whatever you need to release and step forward with that sense of newness um, and awaken in your true light. It's a lovely, lovely energy here. Um, yeah, powerful. You know, yes, the judgment card can be about uh, decisions, uh, karmic decisions, choices. I'm not feeling that with this energy because it's called rebirth. It feels this tower is leading you to some pivotal rebirth. Um, so very powerful energy here. The temperance card is, I feel in this situation, how you open up to embracing new journeys, how you find the way forward. It's that process of adapting and transition um, because it feels that how you're dealing with this tower moment, you know, that, that temperance energy is a card of Sagittarius and Sagittarians are, is the archer, somebody who fires their arrow into the air and the arrow goes beyond the immediate visibility. So, um, it is about opening up to new horizons here, new paths, new journeys, finding your flow again. And the things that you need to do, you know, whatever this tower was, how you have adjusted your belief system, what you held to be dear, how 
your core belief system has changed in how you see yourself moving forward and just where there may have been an extreme situation sometimes you see someone juggling uh, fire and water or pouring one cup to another um, it, it just feels like you're finding your way through what has been through quite a big time a big energies and just finding your flow finding your way through a situation and rebalancing, finding your balance, finding your flow. And I'm definitely getting this energy towards new horizons, but there's a big rebirth energy going on here, Virgo. It feels very, very powerful indeed. But there's definitely an energy of a divine hand, a divine intervention. Whatever this tower was, it was meant to happen. And there's definitely this feeling of you are being aligned to where you need to be aligned to. It is about embracing your awakening. Um, and just finding the way forward because new horizons await, you know. Uh, this is about finding your flow again and restoring balance in your life and understanding what your core beliefs now, how they have changed and what your blend of ingredients is in life, what you're looking for now, what you're not looking for, the life ingredients, the things that you hold dear and how you move forward. I love that card though because you can see this kind of like it's almost kind of like a path over the water and there's a rainbow here it, it just feels like new horizons are calling here it feels very very beautiful indeed and you now have the opportunity to mix the new ingredients of life and create your own path forward it feels this kind of energy very powerful big major arcana will always tell a big story so uh, that is what i have for you virgo Nice message. Final message for Virgo, please, Angel Spirits Guides. So we have Monkey. It's hard actually with the tower to, to say this because we've got Monkey in a child. Don't take life too seriously. It's not always easy in this energy. Though, like I said, it's a neutral energy, the tower of aligning you to where you need to be. And the starfish, we have intuition, listen to your soul's truth, think less, feel more. And there's definitely an energy of a powerful awakening. Um, you're awakening to your higher self here. Uh, there's a powerful rebirth that's happening for your highest good. And you're being told to adapt, move forward, because there's new horizons that are you're being aligned to. It's beautiful energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Virgo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful weekend for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.